Hi guys, I will present you the protections we normally use during practice or race. I will explain to you why we use them and which is the best way to choose them as protection is the best partner of a rider. If you aren't safe, you can be your own rival. There are different kinds of knee braces. The orthopedic knee braces, like the ones I use, are made to protect your knees from heavy impacts or twists. It is very important that the knee braces adjust perfectly to the knees to have them well protected and you feel comfortable with them. I mean, they are not loose or tight to hinder the movements of your knees. The use of elbow pads helps you in case of a crash to reduce the damage to your skin and that's why they need to fit perfectly so they don't slide off in a crash. Again, they have to fit your arms so they are not loose or tight to hinder your movements. And I know some of you do not wear them, but they're used to avoid stone impact thrown to you when you are behind someone. They are used to protect your shoulders. You should wear shoulder protection so that your shoulders are protected from impacts and scratches in case of a crash. Make sure they fit perfectly so that they do not hinder your movements or feel uncomfortable when riding your bike. The chest and back protection is one of the most important protections you can wear. The help provided by these protections is multiple because not only do they protect you from big impacts, but they also protect you from the stones and dirt of the riders in front of you. So the chest back protector needs to be hard on both sides for a good protection of the chest and back. An extra piece of advice, do not alter it as it will not be accepted at technical control. To protect your feet and ankles, make sure they are your right size and you feel comfortable in them. They are perfectly designed to have a good grip on the foot packs of your bike and control your gear and brake levers. If you decide to wear a neck brace, you need to make sure that the neck brace is your right size and doesn't move a lot once you put it on, so you can have the full protection of this brace and have free movements of your neck and head. Gloves are designed to provide you a perfect grip of the handlebar. In case of mud or a crash, the gloves may get dirty and you lose your grip and control of the bike, so you need to change them to ride more safely. Do use the goggle line to get a new pair. Your grip will make for the lost time. The vision is very important in our sport, so you need to wear high quality goggles. They protect your eyes from dirt, dust, mud, stones, insects, etc. Especially in poor weather conditions and at the same time, they are designed to offer you a maximum view field. There are two main types of goggles the most MX riders use. However, I always use the ones with tear-offs as I feel more comfortable with them. If you ever have to get rid of your goggles or you lose them in a crash, do not hesitate. Get a new pair of goggles, either in the pit lane or goggle line. Better to ride with them than without them. The helmet is the most important protection a rider wears as it protects their head. As you know, there are several brands in the market which claim to be homologated and comply with FIM standards. But make sure they do, because if they don't, you wouldn't be allowed to wear it when racing. Another thing is, when you have made up your mind about a brand, how do I know a helmet is my right size? Well, in order to know that, you have to make sure your helmet does not move when you put it on, and you feel comfortable in it. One more thing, a helmet can save your life, so do not alter it by making a hole to add a camera stand as it will probably affect its performance in an impact. A rider needs to be flexible while riding, and that's why you need to wear comfortable clothing. Our shirts and pants are made of a strong but light material because the body is already protected with all the elements that I explained to you previously. However, some parts of our pants are designed in a cushion-like fashion so that they offer extra protection to some parts of the body. If you are protected, you will be safer. And if you feel safe, you have the control.